Michael in Illinois got your President Harrison here for you all set so you requested a 2 watt carrier for AM FM and I, I have that for you right there to say 2.1 and you requested a little bit more of a just a slight bump in modulation so I've done that as well there's our our waveform you can see the power level on the LP so that's pretty darn good from a 2 watt level whoops sorry about the jerkiness and if we zoom in you can see it still looks really nice and rounded and everything so it's nice performance performance there so up here is the spectrum analyzer and that's the carrier actually no we don't want to burst we want to shut it shut it off I hit burst so there is the modulation added to the carrier which is showing us power up here fully modulated power so you can see your upper and lower sideband there although the radio doesn't have it it's still part of the am signal and there's just our carrier there so looks really good and it's performing really good for a small radio i really have to say i'm impressed with these a lot so um you did buy the microphone here as well so i'm going to put that on the radio and we'll just have a quick listen um, the receiver on these is pretty fantastic as well so i guess maybe i should show that first and then we'll take a quick listen with your mic here so these are a six pin radio if anyone's wondering right now i have a four to six on here they also have the noise reduction circuit which is really nice it's adjustable from one to five there's a lot of other features which a lot of other youtubers have already covered so i'm not going to cover a lot of that stuff I'm just going to show the more technical stuff here which i haven't really seen before anyone show so um yes i can you know add a little modulation to the radio i can lower the dead key level a little bit for the radio which probably most would want um to you know run whatever other piece of equipment maybe they want to run with it um two watts to about 17 18 19 watts is pretty good it's a lot of modulation it sounds nice and clear on fm you know it's going to be about two watts all the way around and there is no mic gain setting on this radio so when you adjust the am modulation you're adjusting it with the tone and then you know it is what it is then it's not going to over modulate ever i mean even with this mic unless you literally run it like that and scream into the thing at the top of your lungs yeah you might get told that you don't sound good but if you run it normal and just talk normal you're going to sound really good and really clear on this radio so you know don't eat the mic as they would say in the old days all right there's s9 on am so you can also adjust that properly if you have the right equipment to do it no problem so let's hook up the uh sin adder and see what where the sensitivity is falling in Okay, here's the AM receiver. So we're looking at about minus 110 up there on the screen. My attenuator adding 20 more uh, decibels to it to lower the signal even more. And actually, I don't even need the attenuator for this reading. I could actually just go without it because the generator goes down to minus 110 on its own. But I'm not going to unhook it for the sake of the video because uh, generally other radios hear just a tad bit better but this is uh, not too bad at all for a small little radio um, definitely you're going to hear what's out there um, you can see the S meter reading is still you know about a 3 even at that lower signal so if I start to lower it more there's minus 114 right there There's a negative 120. It goes away at about negative 123, but let's see if we can still hear anything. A little bit. I can still hear a little bit of something in there. So, let's see if we can show you guys the FM also. The FM's going to hear much better, by the way. Right there's S9 on FM, right on the money. I'm using 2.5 kilohertz of deviation. And see what we come out with for a receive. 
So. So it's about negative 121.5. So it's going to hear just a little bit better. Oh, actually quite a bit better than what it's going to hear on AM, which is generally the case with all radios. You're going to hear signals longer and farther away on FM. And I'm not talking about like skip signals. I'm talking about just generalized local signals if you're um, in a vehicle and you, you have a family member or something or a friend that's on a, a home base environment you're going to hear them longer and farther on fm so there's no question about that never going to not be that fm is going to always carry the signal longer and farther than am in a local environment when propagation is involved in anything can happen but generally fm I think still, even in the skip world, will still work just as well as AM, if not better. So, all right, let's uh, just take a quick listen to this with the microphone, and then that's going to be it. Showed everything I wanted to show. Nice little radio here. And let's put this in FM if we can. Let's see here. Sure, we're gonna pick it up. Check one, two. So I only have the mic up. Let me actually insinuate that some. Check one, two. Check one, two. One, two, three, four. Um, actually, I'm gonna switch off to the off the air antenna. Just nothing. Check one, two. Swap that a little bit. Check one, two, check one, two, hello. It has a very nice clear sound on FM. Check one, two, one, two, three, four, check, check, hello. Here's AM, right here. So squelch that out too. Check one, two, check one, two. So just a little, a little bit louder um, based on the volume level. Check one, two. One, two, three, four. So, a lot of uh, good modulation coming out of this little radio for AM. And still a nice clear sound on FM. One more time with FM. Check. Let's see if we turn it up just a little bit more. A little bit more volume. Check one, two. Check one, two. Hello, check, check. So, there you go. AM, FM. And receive. Everything's ready to go. It's doing a good amount of power. Should work out good for you. Thanks again. 7-3.